I got my hair done out there, girl. It's super cute. And I'm really just trying to bounce back and getting back into my routine. I feel like I've fallen off, but I'm trying to get back on, girl. But one thing about it, I am not gonna fall off when it comes to my scent, okay? The scent that I'm wearing today is from Scentbird. It's from Initio. It's the Oud for Greatness. And oh my God, y'all, Scentbird is the perfect way to figure out what is your new scent for this 2024. This video is in partnership with Scentbird. You don't know what Scentbird is. Scentbird is a perfume subscription website where you get to try out new perfumes each and every single month for only $17. Love that Scentbird gives you a 30-day supply for each and every single sample that they send you. I need a full 30 days to figure out if the scent is for me or not. It's also so overwhelming when I'm in the store and I'm trying to figure out if I like the scent and the sales associate is on my bag I don't like I should buy this perfume. No. This is so easy and convenient for me to be out the way and try perfumes at peace. And Scentbird has so many perfumes to choose from and colognes and also unisex options. I'm gonna talk about the scents that I got this month. So the first one I'm gonna get into is Dime Tuesday Date Night. It has Carmine, Iris, Leather, Cedarwood, and Ember. And this is giving me very much Santal vibes, very unisex. It's perfect for every day. Y'all, if you love Le Labo Santal 26, this is gonna be right up your alley. Santa Jardin Paris, and it's called Celestio Patchouli. If you are into patchouli, y'all, this is so sexy. I was wearing this throughout my trip and I was getting endless compliments. This is that scent that you want people to run you down and ask you about because it's very mysterious. Cause it's like, what is that scent? It smells so good. I wanna go out and buy the full bottle. It has patchouli, cedarwood, and cinnamon bark in there. Next we're gonna get into Commodity Rain. It has water musk, lotus blossom, lemon. This smells very clean, fresh out the shower. And I feel like both sexes will enjoy this, a man or a woman, if you love to smell just very clean and just fresh out the shower. And the last one is definitely my favorite. I love a good oud woodsy scent. It's the initial oud for greatness. It has musk, patchouli, saffron, lavender, and wood oil, very woodsy. And I feel like this is the perfect scent to set off a date night. So you'll be able to try out scent bar as well. All you need to do is click the link down below and you'll be able to check out the scents on scent Birds website or you can scan the QR code on the screen and you'll be able to use my code to save 55% off on your first month subscription which is about eight dollars girl make sure you get this deal for 2024 because I really want you to find your signature scent we need to make smart choices this year okay sometimes perfumes range from like a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars <laughs> and we go ahead and buy the full size bottle and we really don't touch it probably five times throughout the year which is really sad I love that thin bird makes it so easy and convenient hey y'all welcome to the first vlog of the new year and i'm with cadet and we are at world market and i want a new coffee table i want to do like a little home refresh as y'all have been seeing i've been doing a little things to my home whatever just for now um and this coffee table is so cute and i feel like i would be able to lay out more books on here it's more room other than my other round one so we are here they have one left in stock so hopefully they have it yesterday i literally was just here yesterday they said they didn't have none in stock so i went online and they literally said they have one and i just called and she was like oh yeah we have one i was like what i was just in there yesterday and y'all i'm so sleepy from <laughs> my ghana trip i've been trying to catch up on sleep but it hasn't been working out like i need a full day of being knocked out 
but yeah we're just waiting and um my cleaning girl is coming tomorrow i'm doing a home refresh yeah like me cleaning the walls up to down is dead for 2024 i'm investing in a cleaning person yeah no and i'm gonna ask her does she do laundry <laughs> but i'm not i'm gonna just do my own laundry i don't think she will though like touching somebody else's dirty clothes is kind of nasty she needs gloves yeah we're getting the coffee table hopefully they have it but I'll check with y'all once we get back home. Y'all need to come to World Market. They low-key got really good stuff. Hey y'all, so it's the next day and I actually get end up getting my coffee table, y'all. It's right there. I had to go all the way by the Mall of America. I mean the Mall of Georgia. But um Cadet's gonna help me set it up. But I just took my Christmas tree down. He definitely took that down one too. Thank you. So I just vacuumed a little bit. Oh, and I end up getting these mushroom little cushions, y'all. And they also have storage. Um, I'm going to set them out, but I'm removing this coffee table. And then we're going to set up the other one. And then also we went up to this store called Pop Shelf. And I got some new dishes. Y'all, I literally threw away like half my dishes. So I'm like, you know what? I need new ones. And these are only like $3. And these are pretty heavy. And then I also got these ice trays to put in like water bottles and stuff. Some plastic forks and spoons and a plastic plate because I'm not going to be doing dishes all the time. So I'm about to go ahead and put this coffee table together. So let's go. And these little mushrooms are like outside like to close off the living room. But I'm not sure where I want them but they're so cute. If anybody is interested in this, let me know down below and i'll have it for you in my storage so uh, get your ass up and work seems like nobody wants seems to like work. nobody wants to work anymore get your fucking ass up and work yeah bitch you fucking biscuit eating bulldog i feel like a mermaid i feel like i'm on sand in aruba this rug makes me feel like i'm a mermaid Handyman. <sighs> Girl, all these pieces. I thought it was gonna be a quick one too. Oh, you thought it was an IKEA little project. <laughs> Holiday ornaments. Okay. Where's that? Your place that you have to. Adorn with a. I don't think I need instructions. Here's some what to do. Oh my God.
cleaning girl came I didn't want her touching my beauty room because obviously as y'all can see it was a catastrophe I feel like y'all are too close I think I'm gonna start using my new vlog camera because this is my Sony VZ one I wanted to take it with me to Africa because on the other camera like a certain settings it will go in slow-mo in the audio there's no audio no nothing so I was like yeah I'm not risking it I gotta figure out how what mode gets in there because I really did like how wide the camera was I'm gonna keep it for emergencies but I kind of want to go back to using the one I would just bought but anyways so I'm on my way to go get my nails done first set of the year I can't believe it's 2024 like oh my god it's crazy and yeah I just been trying to reset and just regroup and really get my body together just to be my best self this year it's been just a struggle to catch up with sleep and just I just been trying to be like productive but then I'm like ugh, I'm lazy I need a little break and breaks are important so I'm like trying to you know ease my way back into like vlogging like every day and stuff but it's just like I don't I'm not doing nothing I'm just laying down watching movies I'm really not doing anything but the little things that I have been doing I have like vlogged and I can't wait till the rest of my stuff from my living room comes I just really wanted that to be like a creative characteristic space I just want like of course I love the neutral and stuff but I do also love a pop of color and just gives it like you know character and it's, it's a little bit more lively i ordered this one painting y'all i have no paintings in my living room so i'm super excited for this artwork because it been having my eye on it for the longest time so i did my research and i find out who actually took the photo like he actually takes pictures of barbie and he sells the frames so i ordered it anyways i'm on my way to 10 but the first thing i'm about to do is go get me a matcha y'all wave three Aaliyah posted it on her instagram and i think tasha went too and they were like oh my god the best matcha ever and i'm y'all know i'm a matcha girly 
So I'm like, let me go try this. Right when I touched down back in Atlanta, I tried it and I've been hooked ever since, y'all. It's so good. And the portion sizes are chef's kiss, not too much. You don't need that much. So I've, I did ask for a large. She was like, no, those are the only sizes. Y'all, it's so good. I get the ice matcha latte with oat milk with vanilla. And then I add two um, organic sugars. It's so good. I'm going to stop there first and then be on my way to Tim. trying to get back into the group of things y'all i've been really lazy not gonna hold you the africa vlog baby i'm trying to edit it and my fingers just won't tap 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 on my laptop oh and i just got my computer fixed but y'all have seen that in the last clips but anywho um today's a new day went to wave this morning y'all have to get into it this matcha is the best matcha i've ever tried and i know some of y'all don't like matcha you think it tastes like grass like him but it doesn't it tastes so good if you're even i got my nail tech he was like oh my god it tastes so good this shit is busting but he's like you know he likes matcha and i like matcha too it's so good y'all gotta get into it anyway matcha is just an acquired taste it's good i get the iced matcha latte with oat milk and i add some simple syrup to it but mm. We have some errands to run for cadet today. Um, and then I have to go back home and work some more. Um, it's only 11.30. I woke up so early today. I woke up at like seven. I forgot to tell you. And yeah, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later. But I'm very cozy today. It's chilly outside, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. Hey y'all, so it's a little later and i'm about to get ready for this movie premiere y'all i don't know i've been loving my braids like it really makes me feel like i got a crown on top of my head or something like she really ate that i just love them y'all know the drill oh my mama just texted me take it slow whoa whoa i gotta get a new makeup mirror my other one actually broke i'm about to put my lashes on first you already know i love these lemonade lashes and i put on my faded eye patches earlier y'all they really do make a difference like y'all already know i've been using it for the longest time even before the brand trip and actually that trip y'all it made me feel like i was a part of history not gonna lie it's giving like what brand do y'all know taking influencers to africa it's just so crazy to me i can't even believe i was there when you're in it living in it you just don't realize what is happening in front of your eyes and so like after and then you really reflect on it and i really was reflecting on the whole trip and i'm like wow i always was like i wonder how it feels to be on a brand trip not that i i always knew i was gonna go i just didn't know when 
And I just really felt like God placed me in the right brand trip. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just like no random trip. This trip is for you, Kyra. This trip is for you, your reward, and I know you're gonna enjoy it. It's just gonna be the the vibes that you want. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I have to realize sometimes that I cannot trust, I cannot go past what God wants for me, you know? I can only go at my pace. Oh, these are old, but these are cute. Should I wear these or are they too dramatic? Oh, this is a lot. Oh, baby. <laughs> I haven't worn lashes like this in so long. But yeah, never rush God's plan. These are, I haven't worn lashes like this in a, a long time. <laughs> I need to hurry up. So I'll check in back with y'all once I get dressed i'm just i'm not wearing no dress or nothing i don't even think this is a movie premiere like that because it's like at a pub so well not a pub but it's at hobnob tavern in atlantic station and i'm like what ain't that like yeah like a pub and then the screening is at regal in atlantic station so i'm like yeah i'm not it's not giving like that it will probably give like you know maybe i don't even know what to expect i'm not i'm not even lying to you i really don't know what to expect so i'm just gonna look cute decent ready for a movie but not over the top yeah i can't wait and i'm excited so yeah So I just got dressed. I have on this Source Unknown sweater. I'm trying to figure out how I want to wear it. Um, I think, yeah, I think we'll do it like this. This is cute. And then for my Saint, I just have on um, Tom Ford mixed with a commodity. What's it called? Commodity milk. Anyways, I'm about to head on out. Um, I'm going to show y'all the full look when I get out in the living room. But I made great timing, okay? I'm proud of myself. So we're about to be on our way to the event. So I'm going to check in with y'all once we get there. So y'all, this is the outfit. So the top is Source Unknown. Super cute. And then these jeans are um, Citizens of Humanity. And then my shoes are from Revolve. They're kitten heels, period. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, jewelry is fury. And then my bag is Deutsche Vuitton. So we're going to do this tonight. Um, but yeah, so let's go. So we just got to the movie theater. And I thought it was going to give, like, you know, a little red carpet. But I didn't want to overthink it too much because I'm like, hey, nah. Everybody. Hey, girl. But yeah, y'all, basically, like, Netflix is hosting this. And also, what was the other place called? The Gathering Spot. The Gathering yeah. Spot. I guess it's like a networking event. Um, but yeah, so they let Netflix seat first. And then um, they're having the Gathering Spot coming here, too. So it's like two events in one screening. Um, but yeah, we're going to get snacks in a second. But in a drink. In a drink. But yeah, we're here. I should have wore Ugg boots, but it's all right. Pointy yeah. toes. <laughs> you good? Are y'all ready to see a really incredible?
incredible movie that comes out on January 12th. So if you hashtag this movie, just hashtag lift at Netflix, hashtag, or you can at Kevin Hart, you know, Kevin Hart for real. You can hit him, but Netflix has done an incredible job with a really incredible movie that I think y'all all gonna love. Can we get some love for Netflix? Give me a nice round of applause. How many people got Netflix? Put your hand up if you got Netflix. Woo! Even put your hand up if you're stealing somebody's password and you got Netflix because of that. Put your hand up for that. This is an international cast, an international movie. And before we start the screening of the film, I want to introduce you to the man that directed this movie. I've known this man for a very long time, probably like 30 years. Let me name some of the movies that this man has directed. Friday. Y'all all saw Friday, right? Okay, he directed Friday. Y'all saw Men in Black? He directed Men in Black. Y'all saw uh, International Be Cool? He did that too. Did y'all see The Fate of the Furious? He did that movie too. Did y'all see Set It Off? Woo! Uh, if you ain't seen Set It Off, turn your black card in right now. Because <laughs> he directed that too. Did y'all see Straight Outta Compton? Well, that man directed that too. And just for a little side note for Straight Outta Compton, NWA is going to get a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Grammys this year. So that's something to be proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce to you the director of Lyft. My friend for over 30 years. Give me a nice stand up round of applause for Mr. F. Gary Gray, y'all. Come on. Atlanta, Atlanta, thank you. Thank you. Um, I just want to start and just really thank you for a couple of reasons. You may not know it, but you've been a part of my career since before I started making movies. And what I mean by that is. I did a music video in 1994 with Outkast called Southern Playlistic Cat Like Funk and Music. And uh, that was at the beginning of their career, and it was at the beginning of my career. And after that, I did Friday with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. So I want to thank you for being a part at, of, of, of my career from the beginning. The, Second thing I want to add is when I made my largest movie, which was Fate of the Furious, it was Fast and Furious 8. It was one of the biggest budgets I've ever made, and I shot it here in Atlanta. And I shot it in Iceland and a few different countries where we're based here in Atlanta. So you've been taking care of me since the beginning of my career and at some of the highest points in my career. So I want to thank you for that. I'm very proud of this movie, and you will be one of the first and only audiences to see this movie in the theater. So it's very special to me, and I appreciate your support. And thank you for supporting me for my entire career, all the way up to this evening. So thank you, and enjoy the movie.
about to be on my way to Sweat House. I was gonna go to a yoga class to sweat, but y'all, I wasn't gonna make it. I'm literally trying to make my way slowly into my workout routines, whatever, moving my body. I would take a walk this morning, but it's, it's so cold. My face is swollen. <sighs> anyway, <coughs> I haven't been to Sweat House in so long. It's an infrared sauna. The sauna has so many benefits from you. It's really relaxing, even though you're sweating. So I'm gonna do that, and then today I have to film a campaign shoot. So that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be at 11 o'clock. Cause I'm trying to just get up and do something, you know, and get into the routine of it instead of just laying in bed and resting up like I've been doing. Um, so I'm like, you know, let me get up and, you know, get to a routine. Cause your girl's been lazy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So I'll check on y'all once I get there. I got my big back. Coat on. Oh, and last night was really cute. We went to um this new spot called How. I think that's what it's called. But they stopped serving food at 10 30, so we wasn't able to get any food. And I went to bed starving. I went to bed with no food in my system and my head started hurting. I was just like, I need to go to sleep. Um, and it's so crazy, y'all. Everything in Atlanta like where the fuck is the late night food like i just like i was like me and my friend were like what like what's going on here and then like the streets was like dry like everything is just so different now i swear it's all right it's cool with me because baby i be in the house anyway i was like wow even fellini's was closed i was like what like ain't they a late night spot i'm just confused velvet taco and it wasn't even 1 a.m. yet. Girl, that's neither here or there. I don't know why my mood is just like, I'm trying to get it together, y'all. I really am. I I really am. And then today, I have to do this Ghana vlog, y'all. I have to, y'all. I got my throat about it. So I'm like, okay, I need to get into it. We gotta get back into the rotation. They need me. They need me. <laughs> I'm getting it. Thank you. 